and her um, presentation is entitled Assessing the Media Literacy of First Year College Students. You may be familiar with historical examples of propaganda that influenced countless numbers of people. Think about how much easier it is to reach young people now with propaganda through the internet. The Pew Research Project has found that the media that we consume on a daily basis is more portable than ever, think cell phones, tablets, and therefore more persistent and pervasive than ever before. And yet, a review of the curriculum in the U.S. shows that our nation lags behind other English-speaking nations in providing media literacy education, or education that fosters uh, critical analysis and questioning of media. Unfortunately, this is especially true at the college level. But to convince stakeholders that we need media literacy education in college, we need empirical evidence. Policymakers especially rely on numbers in decision making. So my research focuses on designing and testing a tool to numerically measure the media literacy of first year college students. The Critical Evaluation and Analysis of Media, or SEAM for short, scale, is a self-report, one to five rating instrument designed to gauge how well students recognize the pervasive nature of visual media on the internet. Um, I'd like you to get a feel for my scale, so I wanted to read a few items to you. You can follow along with me. I think about how news stories can be designed to sway me with facts and logic. When watching a television show, movie, or video, I think about whether or not it would appeal to diverse populations. When viewing an advertisement, I think about the effect the design has on me. After analyzing the responses of 323 students enrolled in first year writing courses, I found that the scale is highly reliable, in other words, consistent, at 0 0.91. 0 0.8 is good, 0 0.91 is actually really good. And all of the items actually load onto these three factors or dimensions behind me, which just basically means that everything fits well together and that the scale measures what it's supposed to measure. Do you think that our students might benefit from an education in recognizing these pervasive techniques that advertisers and news providers use to influence and bias them? Uh, this scale will help to give us a baseline for answering questions like this. And I'm also really excited about its potential to be used in the classroom by teachers and students. Thank you very much for your time and interest. Thank you.